Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today because we've got a really neat demonstration planned for you. And what is the subject? Easter. Easter, of course, as you know, represents the resurrection. It also represents renewal and also rebirth of the earth after a long, hard winter. And you know something, what better symbol of renewal and rebirth than the bunny? So today we're going to do a little demonstration and we're going to incorporate a little bunny into it. And we've got some very neat things going on here and I think you're going to really enjoy this demonstration. Let's come up real close so you can see what we're playing with here. And you notice that what we have here is a piece of foam. We've actually taken a wreath and we've cut it in half. And then we've taken our foam wreath and we've added a little bit of foliage to it. And now we're ready to start adding our flowers to this composition. And we've got some neat combinations of things that we're going to play with today. First thing we're going to play with are some of our palms. But not just any palm. Look at these. Aren't these spectacular? They're green. Green palms, yes. And we're going to take our green palms and we're going to start working them into our design. Of course, the advantage of these foam bases is that it makes it so much easier. Once we have our foliage in place, all we have to do is just simply take our flowers and drop them in here and I'm taking some of my green palms and I'm working them in through my design and you notice that we can come up with something that is easy and fast and pretty and interesting and this design definitely is going to stand for for renewal and for spring which is generally what we associate with Easter and I'm taking my palms and I'm working them through kind of mixing them through the entire length of my half wreath here. This is going to be a pretty design and I think you guys are really going to enjoy the process as we build this thing. And I'm taking my palms, working them from left towards right. Of course, if you like to work from right towards left, you can do that too. And all the way down to the end. Now, let's see. What else do we have to play with? We've got a nice combination of materials to play with in this design today. Oh, look at these. Mini Gerbera. They are spectacular. You've noticed if you've been watching our video series that I'm a fan of Mini Gerbera because they're bright, they're cheerful, they come in so many different colors. And so I'm going to work a couple of my Mini Gerbera into our design. Now what else do we have? Well, nothing says uh, spring better than our daffodil. And so I'm going to take some daffodils and work a few daffodils into this design. So let's get a daffodil here and there. I'm not going to use too many of them, but then we're going to just use them to give us a little sprinkling in terms of our arrangement. And so we've got a few daffodils just kind of mixed in here and there. Notice the way this is developing so nicely for us. Now let's see, what else do we have? Oh. We've got some great looking Fuji mums. Fuji mums are available throughout the year. They come in a wide variety of colors, white, yellow, bronzes. Uh, we've got kind of a lavender kind of color here. Again, the whole concept here is we're staying within our kind of lavenders and pinks and yellows and whites to come up with an interesting effect on this design. And I'm going to put a few of my Fujis through this design as well to mix it in and come up with something interesting. And then let's add another one over towards the end here. Notice how that fills up space so nicely and quickly for us. Oh, with spring, of course, we associate spring with tulips. One of my favorite flowers, tulips, in a variety of colors. They're coming out so beautifully at this time of the year. And so let's cut a few of our tulips off and work a few tulips into our arrangement. Once again, just as I've done with my other flowers, I'm taking my tulips and working them in through my design curve here. The thing about tulips is we have to hold them very close to the stems as we're poking them in because they do have very soft stems. So I'm working them in very, very close and tight. And as you can see, I'm going to work another one over here. Notice how this is developing and gradually coming together so nicely for us. 
So we're getting a nice medley of different colors and different materials here. The nice thing about our daisy palms, rather, is that like our green palms, they hold up very, very well. When we play with different varieties of our palms, we can add longevity to our design, and we also can add color and brightness. So our yellow daisy palms, along with our green palms, are really adding value to the design, but also making sure that we have components built into the design that will really hold up nicely for us. And the yellow of the uh, daisy palms that we're using here integrates very, very nicely with the yellow of our daffodils. Now let's see, what else can we add to our design mix? Oh yeah, I can't forget these. These are great. I'm taking this from my bucket. I have some beautiful spray roses. Spray roses are just a beautiful flower. The nice thing about them is, notice, we get multiple heads on a stem, which means we can break them down and do some really cool things with them. They're almost like the rose equivalent of a miniature carnation in that we can take them, come up with lots of flowers, they open nicely, they're colorful, they're available pretty much through the year. They're gorgeous flower and they give really good value. Notice that by adding a few of our spray roses through our composition, it really adds a lot, that nice pink that we're playing with here. I'm going to add a couple more because I think these are just so cool. My students tell me that at Rittner's there's not one flower they've ever heard of that I haven't liked. I think every flower brings something unique to the design table and really can enhance our designs in so many great ways. Now let's add a couple mini carnations into it. I have a kind of a crimson mini carnation, so I'm going to work a few of these into our design. Notice how what started as just a stark uh, section of foam with a little bit of uh, foliage on it has gradually evolved into something a little bit more uh, complex and a little bit more interesting uh, as we keep adding different things to it. I want to add a flower to my design in finishing that I think you're going to find kind of neat. This particular flower is one that we would normally consider linear. We would normally consider this linear. This is our larks. But by taking it and breaking it down into smaller sections, we can come up with a very, very de gentle, delicate little floret that will add to our design and add texture and color to it and three-dimensionality to it and give us a little contrast with some of the face flowers that we've been playing with up to the present time in this. So by taking my larkspur and breaking it down into smaller segments, we're getting another added element to our arrangement. You may wonder, my viewer, where we would put or how we would use this kind of design. It could be used in a lot of different contexts. This kind of design would work well on a mantle. It would work well in an entry area of a home, maybe on a sideboard, perhaps in a bay window. It gives a really, really pretty and cheerful kind of effect for a holiday that symbolizes resurrection and renewal. And it certainly is taking advantage of all the different pretty spring colors of pinks and yellows and greens and lavenders to come up with a very, very nice effect. You know, my viewer, we threw this thing together and made it look easy. But that's the whole purpose. At Rittner's Floral School, we teach you so that floral designing will be easy. We have long courses, we have short courses, we have day programs, we have evening courses. Uh, check out our website at www.floralschool.com. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of a very pretty design for spring and Easter. And thank you for coming into our classroom and visiting with us today. And we hope to see you again real soon for another one of our video demonstration series from Rittner School in Floral Design in Boston, Mass. Thank you.